if I have certain disease states, I will accelerate and promote those disease states quicker. Right, so that is a dose response that should be measured. What is this quadrant right here? High intensity interval training. What is that? That is when you have, and we're gonna do it today. You have high peaks and then you've got what? The value of HIIT training is in the recovery, not in your work boat. You flood the body for 30 seconds with metabolites and you give it two minutes to say, hey body, deal with it. And that is the adaptation and the positive response for HIIT training. But people in our industry will say, HIIT, but they will be doing this. Yeah. So it's fine that they're doing it, right? But let's call it what it is, right? Which is high intensity continuous. So we're gonna be doing that as well. Down here on the bottom left quadrant is sub-maximum intensity steady state. This is your low intensity, okay, consistent effort, and we're gonna be doing that one as well. That increases hemoglobin and myoglobin and all these beneficial aspects of cardiorespiratory fitness and chemistry to the body. It's kind of forgotten because it's kind of like the carbohydrates of today, right? Don't do aerobic exercise. There's plenty of benefit of aerobic exercise and we will be doing it. Is that clear? And the last one is sub-maximal intensity interval training. We could say that this one is largely activities of daily living. It's sub-maximal and you're undulating your intensities, sub-maximally. That is very good for lowering markers of all-cause mortality. So when you look at this, if a person has decent uh, readiness levels, should we operate and expose our body to all of those? Within certain parameters, the answer is yes. And if we do that, that's called metabolic flexibility. The body's ability to transition from one fuel source to the next with ease. If we can do that, we are healthier. Does that make sense? Yeah. So we're not taking a biased approach saying this is the best quadrant or this is the best quadrant. They are all important as fuels to our body. So what we're gonna do for the remaining 40 minutes is we're gonna put this to task. Does that make sense? And yeah. off. Okay, very important for neural sensitivity. Squat down here. Now, if we're thinking about metabolic effort, we want to be. Next one is going to be where my your left hand is palm facing up in the same. Did not happen in my hands. They didn't move. I'm going to cast the fishing rod out long, and I'm going to forcefully exhale, and then I bring it back. Okay, so just place the implant down. How many people are feeling for us to be able to use fuel in aerobic pathways? Uh, Derek Price, I don't know if he's in the room or not, but he put this graph together, so everybody turn around and say hi to Derek. Go to, okay? So everybody off to my right, can everybody see where it is? It's off the midline. I'm gonna hold it high. My right hand, your left hand, is pushing the opposite hand high. Does that make sense? From here, I'm gonna shuffle, plant, Shuffle, plant. What's not happening with my arms? They're not moving, we call it a preposition. Okay, so we're gonna take two shuffles off to your left. Okay, pause, two shuffles to the right. To the left, to the right. It's a preposition, and then I come back. I would go here, and I come back. The further I hold it away, the more challenging it is. I'm here, and then I'm back. 